So Leo, we'll be taking a look at the overall energy for what's coming up for you. We'll see what the present time is going to bring. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. Well, for the overall energy, Leo, we got the King of Cups, and it's with this Ace of Wands. Now, the King of Cups, it's actually a really good card in the tarot. It can be about love, but this is not a love reading. So, I'm going to give some clarity on the King of Cups. What I'm getting here is that for a lot of you Leos, you do have a lot of love for a situation, for something that you're working on. You got a lot of love for something that you're You've got in your head something, some idea, some dream. You got a lot of love for it. The feelings are very, very warm. And I say this because of the King of Cups, but also because it's clarified by this Ace of Wands, which is about passion. So, something that you're trying to, I'm going to say get started, because the Ace of Wands is also about new beginnings. You got a lot of love for some, something that you, you could be trying to get off the ground. It, when I say love, it makes you feel good. Yeah, you, it's a new beginning, or you feel that it can bring you a new beginning. Yeah, the passion is there, the warmth is there, and it makes you smile. If you can see the King of Cups face, he's smiling and he's got his eyes closed. Yeah, whatever it is, you like what you're doing, and it makes you feel good, and you know, deep down in your heart, you, it's going to bring about some new beginning in your life. A new day and it's good because you got passion for it there's nothing like wanting to do something or having an idea or trying to create something or start something that you got passion for because when you don't have passion for it and you're just doing it for money that's a whole nother ball game there but you're not just doing it for money Money is uh, it's a bonus. You're doing something out of passion. And you know that it's going to take you to some beautiful new fresh start in your life. So let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for you. Well, we got justice and it's with the emperor. Now, the emperor is the type that only use... This person will only use their head and not their heart. So, the emperor can also be um, a leader, a boss, really arrogant. There's a desire for power when you get the emperor. So, this is giving me the impression, because it's with justice, you could have such a strong desire for what you're doing or what you're trying to create, that that's all you do. You, you eat, breathe. You sleep and you drink this ideal and the, or this this um, new creation that you're trying to come up with. 
You wake up in the morning with it. You go to bed with it. You spend the whole day with it. There's strong desire for this to happen. Um, you feel like it could bring you a lot of power. And you, in your head, this is the thing to do. It's the right thing to do with justice here. That's probably how you were raised. If you, maybe you were raised when you were younger, that if you wanted to manifest or create things in your life, you have to go for it hard. The emperor is a hard type of energy. Yeah, you got this desire for power and you're going for it. Uh, oh, more than a hundred percent, and you just feel that that's how you were brought up. You go hard, you go hard, or you go home, and isn't that what they say? So, you feel it's the right thing to do with justice here, justice showing up in your reading. So, we'll see what the challenge is. We got the Ten of Wands, and it's with the Five of Pentacles. So, you might get some feelings that. Um, maybe you could start to feel like this is a bit much. The Ten of Wands can be about things starting to feel difficult. Yeah, you might be second-guessing yourself or second-guessing, um, which way to continue to take this. You might second-guess yourself. Got the Five of Pentacles here. It's indicating that you might start to feel a little bit less than secure. Or you might start to feel that this, whatever this is you're working on, may not bring you all the security that you thought it would. Maybe you heard something or found out something. Five of Pentacles, the card below the word challenge. It's about feeling less than secure. And it could be because things are starting to feel really difficult. It can start to feel challenging now. Maybe things are about to start to come to fruition for you. You know, a lot of times that will happen when things are about to manifest and finally get off the ground. Yeah, before that happens for a lot of people, things will get really difficult. And then all of a sudden, bam, things just take off. Like the speed of light. Yeah, so that's what you could be feeling, and that, that can be a challenge, because like I said, things can get difficult. A lot of people can't get through that that difficult period, and then they stop. But what they don't know is right around the corner, bam, things just take off in a really big way. So you could be starting to feel some kind of way. You might start to second-guess yourself. But, yeah, it's saying, um, I'm getting that you should hang in there. Yeah, hang in there. Because I'm looking at the outcome. We got this Ace of Pentacles and the Empress. Now, the Empress, she's holding her stomach. Empress can be about giving birth. So, it looks like with the Ace of Pentacles here, it's a new, it's another new beginning. And it's big. That's a huge pinnacle. It's floating in the sky. It's on its way to you. So you got whatever this is you're working on. It's about to land on the ground. Yeah, it's about to land. And it's big. It's a it's a powerful new beginning. Ace of Pentacles is great. Yeah, this new beginning can bring several new beginnings on different levels so you get a new beginning and you finally feel like you you've given birth to this whatever this is you're working on you have the new beginning for the overall energy and the outcome is a new beginning both of these new beginnings are great you're giving birth to it the empress gives birth she's holding her stomach and the empress also is about abundance yeah, coming abundance. 
but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. Because the Empress can actually have it all. Yes, she can. So, things turn out for the better. That's, I'm kidding, that's only if you can get through that Ten of Wands. Because she looks like the card that's above the word challenge. That's the Ten of Wands. Looks like she's struggling to pick up those, those wands. Things could get really difficult. Or you might find yourself in a difficult situation. And it's making you second guess here. But showing if you can hang in there, there's a lot of abundance in. You will give birth to this, and it will create a new beginning on several levels. Several wonderful new beginnings. So that's the reading that I have for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over much more. And if you'd like to try a personal reading, there's a link below for that also. Also keep in mind, this was just a basic reading. If you're interested in a love reading, I put up a lot of new of those, so go check out the home page if you want to get one of those readings. So, Leo, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well. Stay safe during this crazy virus season and hang in there. I hope you come back and join me for the next Leo reading, which will be a, another love reading. This was a general reading. Yeah. So, Leo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. And I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care.